Hello, I'd like to discuss an update to the Google Analytics connector. The Google Analytics connector now supports the V4 API. Prior to creating a connection, there are a few prerequisites. The first two are done within the Google Developers Council, and that is to enable the Google Analytics reporting API, as well as setting up OAuth credentials for the Analytics instance to access the Google Analytics API. Once configuration is done within the Google Developers Council, you'll need to add the Google domains to safe domains on the OAC side. So you need to add api.google.com, and optionally, you might want to specify asterisk.google.com. Now, having completed the prereqs, I can now create a connection by providing the OAuth credentials, the client ID, and client secret, as well as the property identifiers for the website that I'm monitoring via Google Analytics. After providing those details, I authorize the connection. After saving the connection, I can create a data set. One thing to note, is that the Google Analytics API does have some restrictions on how it can be queried. The most relevant is that only four dimensions can be used in a query. So we recommend using the manual query option to specify a view on top of the reporting data. And certainly you can create multiple views and join those together in the data set. And I'm just going to pick my real-time reports table, which has all the usage data and I'll choose a few columns. And I'll go ahead and save my data set. Once the data set is saved, I can create a simple workbook to analyze page views as well as devices used to access my website. And I might be interested in top 20 views. And I'll look at devices that are used to access my website. And there you have it. I've uh, created a connection to Google Analytics, created a data set, and now created a simple workbook.